Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to our first ever non-5 and 5 video. As you probably already know, I'm Antonio, one of the game gurus here at BPC, and I'll be your host for this quick look at the 2016 Spiel des Jahres, or Game of the Year Award. This award is given out annually, and even just a nomination can mean tons of sales for the game on this list, so this award's a pretty big deal. In this video, we're looking at the 2016 nominations for Spiel, or Game of the Year, as well as the Kinner Spiel, or Connoisseur Game of the Year. I'll be giving you a brief overview of each game nominated, as well as predict the winner in each category. And we'll be kicking it off with the Spiel nominees. One of the best-selling games of the past year, it's no surprise this clever word game is up for this prestigious award. In Codenames, you are on two competing teams of spies who are trying to figure out which cards on the table represent your agents by having your spy master give a one word and one number hint to the rest of the team as to which cards pertain to the clue. It's a smart and versatile design as evident by the fact that a picture variant is already being printed. As the name suggests, Imhotep is about architecture in ancient Egypt. Each player is trying to emulate the great Imhotep and create architectural marvels that will put the other player's creations to shame. This game takes place over six rounds that are mainly about procuring and transporting the stones that you'll need to finish your creations. But with everyone clamoring for the same resources, timing your actions is crucial. An interesting take on a tile laying game, Karuba is about various groups of explorers, each controlled by a player, making their way through the jungle to ancient treasure filled temples. You're trying to be the first team to reach the temples and make their way back to the boat. The really interesting part is that each player is doing so with the same starting board and using the same tiles. Seeing how different the boards end up at the end of the game and seeing the different ways people approach the race is a testament to the great design of Karuba. And the winner will be... Codenames. Seriously, I'll be surprised if this one doesn't win. As someone who has worked at the Board Game Cafe for the entire life of this, all these games, actually, let me tell you there is no contest on which of these three gets played more. Not only does it get played more, but it gets more reactions, more laughing, more loud groaning, and it's just a more engaging experience for more people. This Kinnerspiel nominee has been called a mix of Carcassonne and Castles of Mad King Ludwig smushed together. Isles of Sky has a tile laying and kingdom building aspect of Carcassonne and the economy aspect of castles blended into a wholly original game. Setting the price of the tiles is where the game really gets interesting because you don't want to just give away good tiles to your opponents, but if your prices are too high, no one will buy from you and you won't get as much income to buy yourself tiles to build out your own kingdoms. It's kind of a tough one. One of the most anticipated games of the last decade, Pandemic Legacy's release was so big they came out with two different boxes whose whole difference was the color. And they got a lot of people to buy one of each. This game isn't nominated for its hype though. This game is just about universally loved. Really, this design combines two great tastes that taste great together. Putting one of the most loved co-op games of all time and Risk Legacy together has created one of the most unique and engaging gaming experiences we have seen on the table yet. The RPG for gamers that don't want to deal with a game master, Time Stories has been highly talked about, but a fairly polarizing game. To be fair though, the polarizing aspect of this game is the replayability. Each module of this game is really only playable once because it is, in essence, a mystery that once you've solved, there's really no point in going back to. Considering it costs less than having a group of friends go to the movies and the experience lasts two to three times longer, personally, I still think it's worth it. And the winner is Pandemic Legacy. If I'm honest, again, I would be surprised if it didn't win. I think Time Stories can give it a bit of a run for its money and is probably the more original title, but Pandemic is ranked number one on Board Game Geek for a reason. It's an incredibly popular game, and the excitement is still there for many people. I still catch conversations in the cafe where people are saying things like, oh, you're playing Pandemic Legacy? What month are you on? Followed by excited, whispered conversations. <laughs> you can't go spoiling the story for everyone after all. Well, that's it for our Spiel preview. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, game on.